How would you like to be able to get hot leads for your business while you sleep, while you go to the beach, or while you work on your business? Being able to send out instant quotes can help you do just that. A quote calculator can help prospects get an idea of your service offerings and what it will cost them to work with you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a quote calculator perfect for any service-based business. This calculator will help leads build custom packages based on their needs and it will send them an instant quote this is great because any prospect can be intimidated by talking to an actual human when it comes to pricing, but it's also helpful for you, the business, because you and your employees do not have to waste time filtering between looky-loos and serious inquiries. In this example, I'm going to build out a simple quote calculator for a social media video company. This company does short videos for Facebook, YouTube, and beyond. Let's jump into ManyChat and start building out this quote calculator. So our first step when creating a quote calculator is to go into the flow builder and click on new flow. We're going to name our flow and create. So we have our starting step here. So we're going to click on this block and it's going to open up our editing panel. So over here, I'm just going to write some information to set context and expectations with the client so that they know that they're going to be run through a couple of questions to get their instant quote. Once you have that how you want it, you're gonna add a button, and this is gonna be your get started with the quote button. This is the button that people would click to get started with calculating their instant quote. All right, so at this point, we have this first initial step, and our next step is to create an action. So I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to click on plus actions. Additionally, I could go up to this upper right hand corner and I could hit the action step here. And then I would have to drag and drop that over to this action. So it's up to you how you wanna do that. Once we click on this, the action panel will open up and we are going to create a custom field. We're going to set a custom field. So it says, please select custom field value. We're gonna select that. And if you haven't already created your custom field, what we wanna create here is a custom field to track the price in the quote. So I named mine video underscore quote. And you can see right here, it is saved as a number. Now, if you don't have this created yet, you could just write in new user field quote. It's gonna open up this box you're gonna save it as a number, and then you're gonna click Create. So in my case, I already have it, so we'll go ahead and put that in. As far as the operation goes, we are going to set the number to zero, and so we'll put the value of zero. And the reason we do this in this first action is if someone wants to adjust the quote, if they wanna start over, and they go back to this step, and they click Get Started, we wanna make sure that we clear this number to zero, otherwise it's just gonna to continue to add on. So now that we have the custom field all set up, we're going to click here, drag over and click send message. Now we are going to start asking the questions. What is it that they need? So our first service question. And in this case, I'm gonna ask what the length is that they need edited. Now it is so much easier to create these custom fields if you make this multiple choice, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So now that we have the custom field all set up, we're going to click here, drag over and click send message. Now we are going to start asking the questions. What is it that they need? So our first service question. And in this case, I'm gonna ask what the length is that they need edited. Now it is so much easier to create these custom fields if you make this multiple choice, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm giving them three choices just here in our example, under five minutes, six to 10 minutes, 11 to 15 minutes. You can certainly use quick replies here as well. If you have more options, you wanna give more options, it's completely up to you. But keeping in mind that for every option you give, we are going to have to create an action to increase the quote number, which I'll show you here in a moment. We're also gonna create an additional custom field to save their answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the first example, if they click on under five minutes, we're gonna to go to our action. We're going to set the custom field for the quote. 
and we're going to increase that number by however much it will cost to do a five minute video. In this example, I'm gonna say it's gonna cost another $100, so I'll put 100. Additionally, we're gonna add another action here where we are going to set a custom field and we will want to create a new custom field or if you already have one in existence, you'll use that, which is going to be the custom field to save their answer. So in this case, I'm asking for how long the video is. So I have a custom field that I labeled video length, which is a text custom field. And then I'm going to say that the value is, and I'm going to fill in whatever makes sense for me and for my client. So when I deliver this back to them, I'm gonna say, this is what you said here. So I wanna make sure it's not just shorthand for what I would understand. We wanna make whatever the answer is here clear for our end users as well. So here I would say under five minutes, just like I have here. We're gonna do these actions for each one of these. Keep in mind that the price will be different for each block. So for six to 10 minutes, it's probably gonna cost more than a five minute video. In this case, I'm gonna charge $200. And then again, I'm gonna save the video length custom field for six to 10 minutes in this case. All right, so those two are done, one more to go. Again, we're gonna increase the number by even more for whatever the price is for a 11 to 15 minute video. So I'm gonna put 300 in this example. And save the custom field answer. All right, so we're done with question number one here. And we're gonna to move to the next question. So they've got that one. Now we're going to bring it all over to another message. So just connect all of them in here. So this will be our question two. I'm just gonna ask them if they're gonna provide their own assets. Again, we have to add the actions that correspond with each answer. So in this case, they're saying, yes, they have their own. There's actually not going to be another charge here. So we do not have to increase the number for our quote calculator in this answer, but we do have an action step where we need to save their answer. So again, we're gonna to go to set custom field. We're gonna have a custom field for question two. And in this case, I named my custom field video assets because I'm asking them about their video assets. In this case, I say something like not needed. Again, however you wanna word that. And then if they need them, then we have two actions. The first action is to increase our custom field quote calculator number by however much it's going to cost them to use your assets. I'll just put 100. And we're gonna add again the answer as a saved custom field. And we're just gonna save it as need assets. So now I have those actions all set up, we're gonna to go to the next question. In this question, I'm gonna ask them if they're going to need YouTube SEO. Example would be tags, titles, descriptions, and captions. Now you can certainly add the pricing right here so they can see upfront how much it would cost. So for instance, I could say yes is equal to $100 and no is equal to zero. Obviously you'd wanna make this look better. So if you wanna set more context in these, that is certainly an option. So if they say yes, we want SEO, we're gonna click on our actions. We're going to increase the custom field for the quote by however much that service cost. In this case, it was 100. We're also going to add the action for the answer for this question. The custom field for this one is video SEO, and we're gonna say yes, SEO needed. This will all make sense at the end when we deliver the quote. And then if they say no thank, <laughs> no thanks, if they say no thanks, we're gonna again do another action. And in this case, we again do not add a price, we don't have to worry about the quote going up, but we still have to save our answer in the custom field for that question. Video SEO, and we're going to save it as no SEO needed. Let's go to our last and final question. This is where I'm actually gonna use a user field. So if you are a pro user, you're able to use user fields. If you're a ManyChat free account, you would skip this step. So I'm gonna to go to user input 
and ask them what their email address is. Before I give you your instant quote, please confirm your email address below. The reason I do this in my quote calculator is twofold. Number one, I really think this is an excellent place for you to start gathering their emails. They've already gone through all the steps. It's an acceptable place to ask for the email. You could even go as far as telling them, we will also send you a quote via email. The other reason is that at this point, you could send them the quote. You could send the quote information to yourself with their contact information, and it gives you another point of being able to follow up with this person. So I just think this is a great place to ask for email. In this case, again, we use the user input. The reply type is going to be email. We are gonna keep pretty much everything the same here. They can skip it if they like, that's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be required. And then for the custom field, save it wherever you save your email addresses. And then we're gonna to go to the bottom of the box and click on continue to next step. And what that means is after they reply to this, they're waiting for that reply. Once they give you that information or skip, then they'll go down to continue to another step is gonna drive them to the final block. And this is where we are going to deliver the quote. And to do this, you can make this as fancy as you'd like. I'm gonna keep it really simple here. First, I'm gonna break down everything that they said that they would like. And by doing that, we know that the video length will go over here to the little brackets and we're gonna find that custom field that we saved the video length under. Then the next thing will be the assets and the YouTube SEO. And finally, we can deliver the cost estimate. And we use the brackets again and look for our custom field with that calculator in there. And then we can do quite a few things at this point. Some of the things I would suggest is adding a recalculate button. And this can be as complicated as you giving them the option to change each option out. And you would have to do the calculations yourself based off that, which is a lot more complicated. Or keep it really simple. If it's a short calculation like this, you could just drive it right back to the very beginning and have them start fresh because as you know, this is gonna clear their quote. And if you do that, something that you might also add is a condition when you are asking for their email address. So let's do that really quick. And this condition could go ahead and check if we already have their email address. We could say that the custom field email address has any value, which means there is probably an email address there. If yes, we'll just skip straight to the end quote. If no, then they can be asked. And that way we're not continually asking them that same question if they are recalculating, which as you know, could be really annoying. Okay, so back over here, a couple other options. At this point, you could say something along the lines of set appointment. You could say set up call. Uh, whatever you want to do here, these can direct to your Calendly links, your service pages. You can even have something here like talk to representatives. So you have a lot of choices here. I would not suggest you just leave it blank and let them hang here. I would definitely have some kind of follow-up call to action. Do you want to take an action at this point? And that's really how it all works for your flow. So this is kind of the very simple flow here. Just to recap, again, we start at the beginning, they start, you clear the custom field that saves your quote number, and then for each answer, you're going to save their answer so that you can deliver it at the end here. And you are going to increase our amount based off of each service offering. So once you have this the way you want it, hit publish, and then let me go ahead and show you how this bad boy looks.